So you remember that woman that um, confronted Florida's governor, Rick Scott, and that it was Starbucks? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. And man, she went off on him. Went off. Called him every name. Yeah, called know? him an asshole. Mm-hmm. Uh, Said that uh, he was an embarrassment to the state of Florida. <laughs> Like, yeah, because never, he had, yeah. never you shouldn't show your face around right. here. Right. Yeah, because like, he had cut funding, you know, healthcare funding for you know poor people, um, cut Medicaid. So we know this. We've even done stories about mm-hmm. Rick Scott before. Mm-hmm. We know he's the bad guy. Um, but she was absolutely right. And this added piece of evidence we're about to share with you shows just how right she was. So there was a bill introduced into Congress by the Republicans. Republicans. The Republicans, Republicans in Florida, okay, and what it basically was trying to do it was it was it was for dental coverage. It was for dental health care, right? Mm-hmm. And basically, what it was, it's a grants program aimed at dentists to serve patients in counties with a shortage of dentists or in otherwise medically underserved areas. Okay, that's what the bill was designed to address. This this problem with a shortage of dentists. Um, affecting a lot of people in Florida. Uh, It went through the Congress. How how, how well did it do? Mm, It did very well. It did very well? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. What was was the count? I don't know the count. I think it was unanimous, wasn't it? Unanimous. (laughs) That means every Republican and Democrat said, yes, (laughs) (laughs) we like this bill, Mm. right? And it was introduced by who again? It was int- introduced by Republicans. And then when it got to Governor Rick Scott's desk, he said, no, I'm vetoing this bill because he hates helping people. Mm. He just hates it. Mm. It's, I mean, this guy, man. And then, and then what kind of disgusts me even more is uh, something he said um, about protecting the interest Right, right, right. So in his dismissal of this bill, Governor Scott wrote that uh, he thought maintaining good oral health is integral to the overall health of Florida families. And he was not about to support a program that does not safeguard taxpayer investments. Yeah, taxpayer investments. What the hell is he talking about? Maybe the taxpayers' investments in those clinics he owns. Right. Mm-hmm. Remember, yeah, I remember that. Remember that yeah, the, remember that. the the mandated uh, drug test. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hmm, and taxpayers have to pay for that, right? And he owns pretty much owns mm-hmm. those clinics. He has a he has a stake in those mm-hmm. clinics. Right. So maybe that is where the taxpayers' interests are. This guy just doesn't want to help people. Mm-hmm. And 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 I mean, it's it's so miraculous that the Republicans and the Democrats unanimously voted to approve this bill and he gets to Scott's desk and he's like, well, look, I can't stand poor people and people in need of help. So this had, this bill does not have my support at all. The Florida dental association is obviously in support of this bill. And the, uh, FDA's director of governmental affairs, uh, her name is Joanne Hart. She had this to say, the challenges of access and routine dental care have critically impacted the health and success of Florida communities, especially in rural areas. The results are repeated visits to the emergency rooms for preventable dental problems, missed days of school due to toothaches and lower GPAs and graduation rates. We will continue to advocate for statewide policies and programs to improve oral health for all Floridians. This is a problem. This is a problem that was that this bill specifically was designed to address specifically, specifically about dental health care and and providing this dental health care for people are, that are in need. I wonder if he offered some alternative legislation in place of that one. No, nope, no. Nope, he okay. hates people. Hmm. Well, he, he doesn't hate all people. He just could care less about people in need. I know that in that state, especially Republicans, were against expanding Medicaid. We know that because that happened here, too. Mm-hmm. So we know that. But when your own party unanimous, unanimously votes to approve a bill and says, go ahead, sign off on this. We're giving you the OK. And you don't. Now you don't even have your own parties back in and saying that, well, he did the right thing. 
because none of none of them agree with you on this. None of them. So how can you even go to your constituents and say, can I have your vote? <laughs> you cut Medicaid so I couldn't get Obamacare. You're an ass. 